Hello all and welcome back. Today we are going to create this beautiful website banner in PowerPoint. So, let's get started. Let us first enable the guides. Go to insert tab and draw rectangle shape. Make it no outline and change its fill color. Now again go to insert tab, draw another small rectangle. Make it no outline and change its fill color. Arrange both rectangle shapes as shown by slightly rotating the first rectangle shape. Next go to insert tab and add a text field. Type in your custom text and format it by choosing font type of your choice, making it italic and increasing its font size. Check if this font size fits perfectly into the small rectangle shape. Later pull this text field below and duplicate the small rectangle. Place this duplicate rectangle over the text field and then fragment them both. Delete the unwanted fragmented shapes and group all others shapes together. Change the fill color and then format it with gradient outline. Make it a two-step gradient and set right side stop to 100% transparency. Change the gradient angle slightly and reduce the width of outline. Next go to insert tab and then add another text field. Type in your custom text and format it by making it italic, choosing your font type and increase its font size. Rotate this text field in the direction of big rectangle shape and make sure it fits perfectly into it. Now drag this text field below and duplicate the big rectangle shape. Place it over the text field and then fragment both the shapes. Delete unnecessary fragmented shapes and change its fill color. Format it with similar gradient outline with the same settings.
Next we will create some shadow effect to both of these shapes. Go to insert tab, draw triangle shape. Make it no outline, and format the shape with linear gradient. Change left side stop color to dark gray, and let right side stop be at 100% transparency. Place this shape below big rectangle, and increase its softness until you get desired shadow effect. Now duplicate this shadow effect and place it on the opposite edge of rectangle shape. Duplicate the shadow shape again and reduce its size. Place it at the bottom of small rectangle as shown. Now duplicate this small shadow shape one more time, flip it horizontally, and place it at the bottom of small rectangle. Finally bring small rectangle and its text shape to the front. Add your logo, and apply some shadow effect. You can also format the background, with some pattern fill, and changing their foreground and background colors. So here is the final preview. Hope you all liked it. Please do not forget to like, share, and comment. Thanks for watching, stay tuned.